Welcome back ladies and gents, it's part 11 of the campaign. I'm the Sarcastic Raptor and look at the date. I said I was going to wait a little bit and the time has passed quite quickly and it is now 1942 April the 8th. And guess what? My non-aggression pact with the Allies is no longer void. So what I'm going to do is probably upset everyone. And take my, I want to take my claim states. This is going to cause absolute pandemonium. So I'm just having to think about it. Like we're going to have the United Kingdom, France, Luxembourg, Belgium, the Netherlands, Poland, oh, Republic in Italy, against me as well, Romania, Yugoslavia, obviously, Norway, Denmark. I'm literally going to have everyone fighting me. I mean everyone fighting me. Well, let's do it. This is going to go bananas. I have just caused a new world war. I actually just have. Oh my god. Join wars with Chris. Yep, we're drawing up war as well. I'm just going to get my men on the border for now because my divisions are still preparing that actual like, attack plan. So I don't know how comfortable I am trying it. We'll try and get some of my oh, army groups to be getting involved. A lot of my division is still preparing, so we're just gonna. Oh, we're having really mixed results at the moment. I have to make sure my air support. Oh god. Make sure my aircraft are actually all coming over to this front at the moment. We shall see how well this goes. Let's try and do interception. So far, very badly. I do have just a lot of men entrenched on the border. Yeah, but it's not going too well at the moment. Just the fact Romania is sticking their noses in. I think I'd have to add too much luck over here as well, even if I went for it. No, but it's going quite badly. But we shall see what happens, we shall see. A lot of my divisions just aren't in position at the moment. Soviet Union's called East Germany as our second alloy. Spain want to send volunteers and we'll accept that. Very mixed results at the moment. Very mixed indeed. Enemy as air superiority. Well yeah, it's probably because all the allies are coming over. That doesn't surprise me too much. I'm just going to try and commence another offensive plan because I just want to get more men involved. Oh, good God, it's not going as well as I like. Is it exactly what I feared? Right, you know what? Pause this. Just want a moment. Screw these offensive plans, I screw it. I literally just want my men on that border. Formation flying. I 
and I'll let the Russians do a little push if they want to. Military factories. Try and get some more research going at the moment. Because it's not going as well as I like. But I did sort of think it would end badly once the Allies just stuck their noses in. Well, at least I've got the Soviet Union backing me. We are actually holding them on this front now. Which is going a lot better for us. Who's actually attacking now? I just want my men on the front line. I don't want any fight attacking to commence. This could be going a lot better though, ladies and gents, not going to lie. I've literally got all my aircraft just about signed to this front. We'll try and get some more fighters over there. United Kingdom are literally, oh, God knows how many troops over this border. Russians are not really. Well, they're attacking in now. They're attacking Poland. There's not too many areas that I can actually sort of advance at the moment. I get some more divisions over here. Oh, now some tank divisions. Which I'm going to give to the Romanian front at the moment. Well, let's pause this. Civil War fascists them, but I do not want a war at the moment. I just want it to gradually, slowly happen. It's all a bit terrifying at the moment. Oh, Army Group 7. Make sure everyone's in position. I'm assuming my trade doesn't look too nice, but I'm only am trading with... Oh god, I can't trade with bloody anyone. Should we try and get a little push in here, could we? Little push. I just want to try and hold it line at the moment to see if I can break through anywhere. But I can, it'd be great. So far, I don't think the war is going too well. I lost 47,000. Hopefully, in total, they'll lose a lot more men down the line. More military factories. Good, 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 good. No, no, push has failed. That's because they're bringing so many troops to this border. So the Union has bought 121 divisions. Yeah, I know we're not going to have to be able to not with a British. Construction. Might actually just try and do some AA along this border. Might help us a little bit, I'm not sure. I'm trying to break through at the moment. If 
we can just get a little push, we might be able to cut off a lot of divisions. Hopefully try and flood in. That's the idea. Oh, we just need to keep going. Keep pushing, lads. Keep pushing. Pretend you're giving birth. Just keep going. Oh, one of my men off. Oh, well, I'm trying to circle my men now. So engineer companies, that's actually really good. Let's pause this one moment. Well, I don't, let's just see what I can just get. So I've just filled in a lot of this research. We look at forming parachute divisions. And for more research, we shall go for some more air doctrine. I've left it very late to improve my air force, but. We can get quite badly cut off here, actually. They've moved. That's really actually good AI. Uh, play from AI. They've moved a lot of divisions very quickly. We are trying to push out though. Shame there's a bloody river here as well. the war going. I've lost 66,000 which is less than ideal. These stats are always quite annoying though because it's hard to tell just from the sheer map cut your armies that are fine. Mm, it's not going too well. This river is going to be a nightmare. Not too many places I can really push into. Where are my tanks? I can maybe just look around a bit. Oh, I'll spoke my tank division just to try and hit hit into an area, but I'm just trying to think where. Maybe not my tank divisions. Why are they sitting in Vienna for? Let me just try and get them to a little push. God, they have everything in their divisions. Literally everything. Like in terms of equipment, sport companies and all stuff like that, it's like mad. What they've put into that. Improved computer machine. We're not making anywhere near as much progress as I like in this area. Field hospitals. At least we're getting some more research going, I suppose. We shall defeat them just for a war of improving our technology. I don't think that's going to be very successful in the long run against the Allied forces. I don't think we're really winning the air war at the moment. I'm going to try and get more fighters. It's chaotic. War is very chaotic. Don't even know where are we winning. Actually, attacking force there. My tanks actually in position or attacking? Well, yeah, they're gonna try and go for a push. It's probably in very badly. But we'll give it a go. 
And it's gone as bad, bad news, it probably could have gone. Well, they just really, really good troops in that area, it must be. Oh, let's have a look, because this is going quite badly. Army Group 7. Let me just try and do an offensive line. It's probably not the best offensive line in the world. Probably not at all, oh god. Let's just get them drawn up so we can actually try and do some attacking. This is just sheer star mate at the moment. They've just put so many divisions against me. So many divisions. Well, losses for the Allies are a lot favourable compared to ours at the moment. I've lost nearly 100,000 men. And not made much headway. Hmm. What to do, what to do. I'll try and draw an offensive line in this front as well. Just from here to there. I don't think that would end well either. I've got to look at trying to attack at least. I can't just sit on my arse all day and uh, let them entrench on my border and gradually win the air war. That's what's happening at the moment. Literally just need to get every plane I've got in the air fighting those allies. Yeah, superior enemies apparently, which is less than I do. So that you were doing that as Annex Tan of Tuba. I'm trying to look at these divisions. This is not ideal. I've literally just got ev loaded everything into their divisions. Might try and edit some of my divisions actually. Might be why this is going quite badly for me. Although I don't think anti tank guns would save me too much at this point because I don't think I'm even making them. I will put some more artillery into this. Not going well at the moment, and quite bad. Oh, it's going actually very badly. You see, the fact these divisions are ridiculous. A lot of shit, shit in those divisions, got a lot of stuff. Not really having much luck anywhere as it goes. Just a sheer amount of Troops the Allies have managed to deploy on this front has been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Listen, 
I don't think we can win this war. The Soviet Union need to do more attacking. So sort I'm of moving a lot of troops around, but not attacking as much as I like them to. It's not this. I've got 13 divisions on that border against about 44 British divisions. Got 35 divisions here, 30 here. It's not ideal. This is one of the only fronts we're not outnumbered. We've got our parachute divisions and more research on the go. Becoming increasingly pessimistic about our pessimistic about chances of actually winning. I do not think it looks good. Try and get some improved artillery. So we've got our parachute divisions. What could we go for? I've got a silence at the moment, I'm just thinking. Might actually just use division training time would probably be quite good at the moment. Don't need to be choosing. I don't want to be choosing quite as many divisions as these at the moment. Just to let my man manpower bounce up a bit. Mexican opposition join the Allies. Well, that's just terrific, isn't it? Even more people to fight. Right, estimated plan value, superior enemy. You have little faith. No, but it's going to be going better at the moment, I'm not going to lie. More research. I don't even know what I could get that's actually going to change the outcome of this war. So I don't think tanks are necessary at the moment. Could go for paratroopers actually. Quite low supplies, that's due to the amount of divisions we've got. Not ideal. We'll see what we can do. Try and just get more divisions pumped out. I want them all on this border. All my units are green, that is less than ideal either. It's not like I can exercise them either. Is there any way I can win? Answer that is not really. Hmm, it's going very badly. So heavily outnumbered as well, which is less than ideal. 
some more stuff for airdrop train on the go. I've just pumped so many divisions into the, on the front line, I just have not got that sort of manpower. I'm fighting in too many places, or controlled by the allies, because everyone's just switched over to them like a bunch of pussies. Oh, protect me, United Kingdom. Literally every heart's fine going. Save me from the nasty fascist. Yeah. Very much. Very much for the salt at the moment with the way this is going. Oh, sort of salt. Oh no, it's not going too differently to how I thought it would go. Not trying to gain air superiority low, it's just not proven very really successful. Oh, Brazil's joining the Allies. Soviet Union's making some games though. I'm not, it's lucky for them, I'm not. I suppose they can just fight and run front. Oh, look at that little bullshit naval invasion they're having to deal with. <laughs> One thing I cannot despise on Hearts of Iron is the naval invasion system. It's just so hard to stop. It really is a nightmare. I don't know whether to move any troops off this front line because I don't trust the Russians to hold it for me. Even though they put a lot of units on that front line. So I have a lot of divisions in this group. Might actually just try and. I think we might have a go at Italy. Well, it seemed very silly just pulling all the troops away, but. At the moment. I need. Oh, start a lend lease. Uh, yeah, you can give me some tow artillery. Oh, it's going less than ideal, low loading gents. Less than ideal. Yeah, we still have divisions on here because of the Russians. And my, oh, I've got some Hungarian divisions here. So my forces all shuffle over to this flank. All the way to Rome, boys. That's got a bit less on this flank, but it's still not ideal. I don't think if I can just like redistribute soldiers to different areas, I might be able to hold them better. Oh, man, but I'll slowly take the pound in as well. That's why I just don't want quite as many divisions in training. I understand the need for more troops, but I need my field hospitals to do their work. Get construction, they're bombing our military factories, I'm assuming. We'll just put a few AA on some of the borders. Hopefully it keeps them out a little bit more. 
This is a shoddy display though. Get armed operations and we shall we still doing the airdrop gym one. It's nearly finished. What does it get? I'll try and improve my efficiency cap. I think I am gonna have to try and go from service to requirement to all adults all adults serve. I need more troops. Right, I'm going to end it there. Just to recap, it's not going as well as I like. Because the Allies just can flood so many troops into this war. And that's exactly what they are doing. All this bullshit. Eight million men they're fielding. I've lost about 99, nearly 100,000 soldiers. They've lost nowhere near as many. Russia are making some gains, but it's still quite minor. They're definitely doing naval invasions as well, and they're fighting over here. I'm not really making any games, I'm just trying to... I pushed in a little bit here, but that's about it. It's just very difficult with the sheer amount of divisions that just flooded over. They're outnumbering me. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.